when we, uh, when we built the Wells Fargo Center, uh, we made an arrangement with the city for what we then called a connector. Uh, the reason we called it a connector, we were, gonna, we were thinking we would want to connect the spectrum in the Wells Fargo Center uh, with various facilities. And uh, so we, we worked out a deal where we had uh, some development rights. And we had them for many, many years, and we were trying to figure out what to do. And, uh, and luckily, we met Dave Cordish and got involved with the Cordish family and the Cordish companies. And their vision, what they've done around the country, gave us uh, the incentive to move ahead with what we wanted to do, but didn't quite know how to do it. So I just want you to know that this is the first phase of what's going to be a phenomenal complex. We have plans for the future. Uh, we put some of the things on hold because of the economic decline in the country, and, and we wanted to make sure that everything we did would work, and we're moving slowly but this first phase, I think, is going to be the most exciting venue of its type anywhere in the world. You're going to hear all about it, and I can only tell you that I can't wait for it to open. And when you think it's going to open in a little more than three months, I can't tell you how excited we are. We think it's the perfect location. Over 8 million people a year come down to these venues alone. The Navy Yard's expanding. And we just think it's going to be a tremendous success. We got our fingers crossed, but I'm sure you're going to hear all about it. And I hope you're as excited as I am. And I want to introduce the Vice President of Comcast and a great friend of ours, Dave Watson.